I'd like to take his his face off. Johnny here guys, and today we're talking about the Radio Master T8 Pro. This is a very interesting portable radio gamer style um, controller or transmitter. They all mean the same thing. Uh, offering coming out by Radio Master. Now, Radio Master has really taken the lead in FPV transmitter options. Their T16S is really dominating and there's a variety of flavors that you can get. Jumper was the first one to come out with an option and they kind of have fallen to the wayside. So if you look compared to like an X9D, a traditional hobby grade radio, look how much smaller it is. One thing that is very interesting is that it has the external screen. So this thing costs about 90 bucks. Here's a very similar offering by Beta FPV. Now this has no screen at all, uh, but it only costs $40. They both can charge via USB. They both have an internal battery. They both have switches and gimbals. The gimbals on this one are a little bit nicer. They are hobby hall sensor gimbals, hobby grade. Um, I do like that the antenna is internal to here, so you're not gonna get as good of a range potentially, but it's less things to break off now. Unlike the Tango 2, which is a very similar size by Team Black Sheep, uh, this has actual hobby switches, so some people prefer that. Um, one thing that is very controversial, though, is this little screen on here that you use to control OpenTX, which is the open source software that these radios run. Now, the screen can actually come off. You want to take his face? Yes. His face off. Oh. But what's kind of a downside is the screen occupies this JR Lite module bay. So if you wanted to run any other protocol, whether it be Express LRS, Crossfire, Tracer, Ghost, anything other than the internal uh, module that is in here, you're going to be able to, you're going to need to use this. But when you do that, then you can't use the screen at the same time. So like, what are you supposed to do? You know, when you're switching modules and models like that, if you're going from a Crossfire model to an internal module, say for FR Sky, you would need to do that on a screen. So are you telling me I'm gonna have to go in here, use the screen to change over to like Crossfire, take the screen out, put the Crossfire module in. I don't know about that, guys. Um, it is a really nice feature. If you're only planning on using the models that are in here, I do like that. One thing that is not perfect, though, is this module, this screen, when you fold it down, doesn't quite sit flush. So I guess it would be out of the way, but it can still kind of flop around like that. I, I don't love that. Uh, I feel like the jumper, although the jumper kind of has taken a backseat to Radio Master lately on the full size radio, I personally use the jumper T18 Pro. I like the Alps uh, DC gimbals that are on that. I believe it's the same gimbals on a Futaba radio. I use that over the Radio Master because I prefer the gimbal stick distance. Other than that, the Radio Master and jumper are almost alike. But on this style radio, I think that. I might go for the jumper T light, honestly, or if you just want to taste something to try simulator and maybe do a little FR sky, you could start off with something very inexpensive for $40, then upgrade to an X9D, a jumper, a radio master full size, or one of the team black sheep offerings like the Tango 2 or the new Mambo that came out that's only 149. So this does save you a bit. I think it does have a space for somebody. It, it would be very nice to be able to simulate her with this thing. I do like that the ports for USB are on the top. That is also how you're going to charge this thing. So it is nice that it has an internal battery. You don't ever have to mess with batteries. One unique feature that I actually do like is that it has these little flip out uh, things for your fingers to rest. So you actually get the best grip of almost any other radio out there on this. So that is one really nice thing. The gimbals feel really good. They're a little bit smaller than a full size gimbal. So if you already have that muscle memory, um, just keep a note of that. It's going to take you some time to adjust. But nice job on this Radio Master keep coming up with different options. I mean, the bread and butter is obviously the full size, so why not cut a little bit of corners? And this is an interesting option. Is it for everybody? Probably not, but nice job. Thanks, guys.